To start with, you always want to hold the squirrel in kind of a headlock. Uh, this prevents him from biting you if he gets aggressive, and it also gives him some stability whenever you're moving him around. You want to make sure your milk is warm before you start. And generally, we try to get our milk between 94 and 100 degrees, but you always want to test it on your hand just to make sure it's not too hot. You want to hold the syringe with a hitchhiker position which is your fingers wrapped around the syringe and one finger wrapped around the plunger so that you can control how fast the plunger goes down. The larger squirrels really do tend to suck very, very quickly. Uh, and if they you know, suddenly get some pressure behind them, they can suck half the syringe down and aspirate. Uh, if they do aspirate, it can go down into their lungs, uh, cause pneumonia and a number of other issues. Uh, we generally put those guys on oxygen right away and as well as an antibiotic. So you really want to avoid that. You always want the squirrel to be on its belly. It's kind of its natural position for feeding. Mom would normally be laying kind of where my hand is so the squirrel could always, you know, just eat off her. Sometimes they get a little bored if you don't go quickly. So you need to go kind of right at the squirrel's speed. Uh, it's kind of different for each squirrel. Some go quicker than others. Some need it really, really slow, especially if they have any head trauma. Um, or if they've just come in, this is kind of an unnatural thing for them to have to do. So you want to go at their pace. And it can take a little while to do. Each squirrel generally takes between three to five minutes sometimes. Whenever you're done with a syringe, you always want to grab the squirrel again in that headlock. They tend to move around a lot, and they can run right off the table if you don't have a good grip on them. They generally like to hold on to the syringe. Normally they push against mom's belly with their paws, so you want to try to get your hand up there so that they have kind of a stopping point. They feel a little more comfortable that way. We always use an O-ring syringe, um, so it's got that little little band, um, and those generally don't wear out quite as much. They also are a little easier to control whenever you're giving the squirrel milk. With the larger squirrels, you don't have to use a nipple on the end of the syringe. The smaller squirrels generally require it. Some, if they have had head trauma or they're just a little slow, generally like the, the nipple to be on the end of it. And if ever a squirrel does tend to, you know, start sneezing milk, you always want to tip them kind of upside down so their nose is the lowest point. That way the milk's going to naturally drip out of their nose and not back down into their lungs. Uh, a lot of times if they've just sneezed out a little bit of milk, they can clear it and not actually aspirate it down into their lungs. You always want to make sure if anything does happen out of the ordinary that you take them into a vet or one of the rehabbers. Uh, so they can evaluate it to see if it needs to go on oxygen or an antibiotic. Um, listen to the lung fields, make sure that they're clear, even if it was just a, a small incident. When feeding a squirrel, you always want to look at the, the chart that's on their cage. Um, this guy gets 10 to 12 cc's twice a day. Um, other ones can only get 7 cc's. It's based off of weight and nutritional need. So you never want to feed a squirrel more than it can handle. Uh, you always want to make sure it gets the minimum that it needs to gain weight. So just always check on those cards. If you have any questions, come and ask one of the rehabbers.
and the older animals BIDs and SIDs don't get stimulated um, they can go they go to the bathroom in their cage on their own at this point um, so we don't need to worry about that you always if they are really really full and generally they tend to go to the bathroom when you're feeding them if they are really over full you can go ahead and stimulate them but when they're this size they're generally pretty good on their own Anything? <laughs>